All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and use Mr. Austin's Star Trek example of simulated gravity. So what you have here, um, this disc that you're looking at is supposed to simulate a Star Trek ship, I suppose, or a dock or something like that. Um, so the example we did in class uh, basically gave you a radius um, of the dock of 1.5 times 10 to the third meters. Um, so what we're going to go ahead and do here, um, since we're trying to achieve um, gravity, which is 9.81 meters per second squared, we're going to use our um, equation for centripetal acceleration to see how fast this would have to go um, to give us that value. So um, we're going to use the base equation uh, a sub c equals v sub t squared over r and rearrange that to v sub t equals uh, the square root of a sub c times r. Um, so basically we're just going to take those two values um, and say that v sub t is equal to the square root of uh, 9.81 times our radius of 1.5 times 10 to the third meters. It's all under the square root sign. Um, and then once you just go ahead and plug that into your calculator. Um, so we got 9.81 times 1.5 times 10 to the third. That's going to give us um, 120 to significant digits. So that's going to be in meters per second. Uh, so, like I said, you can see if you had a, a ship that was that radius, it would have to be spinning that fast in order to have the people on the edge experience the same gravity that they would experience on Earth. So, essentially, you'd be able to stand on the wall and it would feel like you're on normal ground. So that's it for this example. Alright, so for a little bit of recap, we're going to go over um, an example problem that has to do with centripetal force as well as centripetal acceleration. Um, so this problem uh, says that a 4 kilogram ball is attached to a 0.7 meter string and spun at 2 meters per second and we're going to be finding the centripetal acceleration and the centripetal force um, that's being exerted here. So you can imagine we've got a ball here spinning at 2 meters per second and we want to find that acceleration and the force. So we've already got our known here got our list. Um, so like I said, we got a mass of 4 kilograms, uh, 0.7 meters of string. So the first thing we're going to want to do is find the centripetal acceleration uh, using this equation up top here. A sub c is equal to b sub t squared over r. Um, so in this case, we're going to have uh, a sub c is equal to um, 2 meters per second. That's going to actually be squared over our radius of 0 0.70 meters. Um, and that's going to give you five point seven, which is meters per second squared. So that's our acceleration. Then we're going to use that value to determine um, 
the centripetal force. Uh, the centripetal force equation is just mass times acceleration. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take the value that we just got here. Um, so we're going to have F sub C is equal to um, 4 kilograms times our 5.7 meters per second squared, um, which is going to give us uh, an answer in newtons here. Uh, so we have approximately 23 newtons. So that kind of just gives you an overview um, of the forces at work here.